The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Trader's Edge with Steve Rhodes. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. The Trader's Edge. Now, Steve Rhodes. Good afternoon from TFNN. Welcome to the September 19th, the terrific Thursday edition of today's Trader's Edge show. I'm your host, Stevie. Perseverance Rhodes who absolutely knows that each of us should always be pioneers of our future versus prisoners of our past. Hope everyone out there is having a great day. Hey, let's make sure we have an extraordinary one. And of course, the easy way to do that is to always remember that life is happening for us, not to us. That's right, when you and I make that one little two by four shift, it means we can find the gift in every set of circumstance that life is gonna toss at us. Now today, you and I, we're gonna go check on the circumstance of these markets. We're gonna go figure out what those bulls and bears, what those buyers and sellers are communicating to you and I just past one o'clock in the afternoon. I want you to know that I'm absolutely grateful for your presence here, but way, and I do mean way, way more important than that, during this next 60 minutes, I'm here to serve you. So what that means is pick up that phone, dial on in, 877-927-6648. Let me know what instrument, uh, stock, equity, futures contract, indice, whatever it might be, whatever time frame it is that you're looking for information on, uh, you know, we'll take a look at that uh, for you. Uh, of course, if you can't call in, we've got you covered there. You can let those fingers do the walking, and that means just send me an email, steve at tfn.com. But inside that subject heading, if you'd be kind enough to put radio show question and get those emails, in early. If you take the time to write, I want to make sure that I get to it. And uh, if they come in towards the end of that last segment, it's always pretty difficult. And in any event, so you know the routine. And of course, inside our Tigers Den, well, any ping will do. So let's go ahead and get this show started on Terrific Thursday. Of course, this is Tiger Financial News Network. I'm Steve Rhodes. Welcome to the show. Right now, the Dow well, all the indices are in the green, with the exception of the transports and the semis. The semis are flat off a buck. Transports are down two tenths of a percent or 22 points. Otherwise, everything else in the green. So the Dow is up 51, two tenths of a percent, about three tenths of a percent for the S&P. That's eight points. The NASDAQ up a quarter of a percent, 19 points. Russell's up six points. Uh, so uh, gold is trading out at 1507, uh, still above the top of that, uh, above, or above the top, above the bottom of its daily profile out there, 1499.50. So yesterday, when we had convened, what we had decided, you and I, in fact, everybody decided, because I threw the offer out there. I said, if somebody is looking at some charts and they can see the tell in the marketplace as far as what it wants to do, please call in. And of course, you, won't, you can do that at any, any day. But specifically yesterday, what I was sharing with you is I was scanning all of my charts using all of those tools, looking for some type of advantage, some type of tell, some type of early warning signal. Now, the early warning signals that we saw yesterday, which ended up really coming to fruition, were inside the NQ. But what we were able to do yesterday, even though we couldn't determine what direction the market wanted to move in, and as it turns out, that was really correct, wasn't it? Because we saw the market both move down to the bottom of support. So what we were able to do is say, okay, we don't know which way the market's gonna go, but let's take a look at the levels that you wanna pay attention to. They'll help you to determine what your next move ought to be. And so for those levels, we really took a look at the bottom of the box for the ES Mini, for the Dow equity futures contract and for the Russell 2000. Now we knew the Dow and the Russell 2000 were the ones that were more likely to be hit out there. And in fact, they were during the day. So those are the two right-hand panels on the chart. If you're watching on Tiger TV, take a look at yesterday's bar. What it did was price went ahead and went down and tagged support, 26.924. Now the beauty about that is those folks that had a short position, whether it was just a trade, an intraday, they knew where support was at. So when we got off the air, and and after the market uh, gurgitated, regurgitated, whatever kind of gurgitation it might be going on, uh, going on inside the market, you knew what to look for. You knew, you knew what to uh, look for out there. 
And that was a beautiful thing. And we had the same thing going on inside the Russell 2000. And then as we came into the end of the trading session yesterday, we had the ES Mini make its way all the way up to resistance, which was the top of its profile. That level is 3,008. And where we're trading right now is 3,016, eight points above that. So here's the deal. Here's the playbook. Here's the meaning at this stage. Now, granted, we haven't seen the ES Mini take out the high from September 13th. And that level is 3025.75. The high today is 3024.50. Someone might say, is that point really significant? Point, point and a quarter, whatever it was, uh, dollar wise. And the answer would be, yeah, it is actually really important out there. Now, it doesn't necessarily have to be today as long as price closes above 3,008. What happens if price closes below 3,008? Well, then we know a significant level of resistance, and that's what it is. 3008 is a significant level of resistance. And the reason is, because that is a bearish structured box. Likewise, the meaning behind it, if that pattern fails, meaning price closes over 3,008, then what's likely to unfold, not today, not necessarily tomorrow, but over the coming sessions, is the completion of that measured move breakout of the consolidation that would take price up into 3078. Now, you and I cannot make that statement, not until we actually see price take out the high from the trading session on September 13th. Because this is where things could also fall apart. Now, none of the equity futures contracts have made it over the previous high from last week, from several trading sessions ago. By the way, inside the NQ, it's not September 13th. It's September the 12th. It's September the 13th in the Dow, and it is September the uh, 13th inside the Russell 2000. But we don't really – and the Dow, by the way, is, is the other – Indice equity futures contract that you'll want to track out here. It's tested and so far today rejected the top of that daily profile. It too is a bearish structured profile. So if you're looking for some type of um, of a uniform message, um, then what you're looking for today is for the ES. I mean, this is the bullish side. This is both bullish and bearish. Now, when I say bearish, it means if you are bearish and you see these closes above this level, you have to ask yourself the reason why because key levels of resistance will have failed. So it's 27,215. Now, look, I'll try to give you great information during the rest of the day, the rest of the hour out there, but those are the two things. I'm, gonna make it, I'm trying to make it very simple. Those are the two things to focus on and pay attention to, and it's gonna all be about today's close. So can price stay over this resistance level? Now, I don't know what that answer is at this stage. If I look to some intraday timeframe charts out there, so for example, in the ES Mini, if we look at the 30-minute timeframe chart, what are we gonna notice? Well, we noticed that on a 30-minute basis, it formed a TD setup nine-count top. And price right now is trading below the bottom of its 30-minute profile. What does this mean to Stevie? What does this mean to you? This means that we could see price come all the way back to where it most recently broke out. And that was at 29.95.75. I'm not saying that's what's going to happen. I'm just saying at 1.14 in the afternoon, that's what its message is to you and I. You've got a short, short term, 30 minute time frame chart out here. So the sellers ought to be able to push price back down below 3,008. And if they can't, boy, that's another strong message for you and I and all of our friends. We'll be back in just a few moments. If you're not currently using the TAS Profile Scanner when looking at setting up your trading opportunities, then your arsenal is short a mighty weapon. The TAS Profile Scanner is a standalone piece of software that instantly filters over 2,500 global financial markets such as stocks, ETFs, commodity futures, and Forex. Headed by Steve Dahl, TAS understands that in today's technological world, the use of top-flight software applications and technical analysis expertise is essential to successful trading in today's market. You also gain access to the webinar that Steve Dahl and Tom O'Brien just hosted, The Best Way to Use the TAS Profile Scanner to Profit. This webinar archive is available for all subscribers immediately upon signing up. All new subscriptions also come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to risk. Start your subscription by visiting the front page of TFNN.com today, and you'll find the TAS Profile Scanner under the Services tab. Sign up today. 
Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay Area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up-and-coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate LLC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. Many of our new listeners have heard about The Tiger's Den. The Tiger's Den is a lively community where professional traders and investors can meet, exchange ideas and information in a comfortable, moderated atmosphere. Hear all of the TFNN shows, plus see all of the charts as they happen live and have access to archives of all of those charts. You can test drive The Tiger's Den absolutely free for 30 days and greatly enrich your knowledge of these markets and how to make your money work for you. Details on The Tiger's Den are on the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN has launched our brand new website. You can still visit us at the same TFNN.com URL, but when you do, you'll see a new and improved homepage with a much simpler navigation, whether you're watching Tiger TV live in high definition or just accessing your newsletter subscriptions. We even have new pricing in six months and yearly options. Check out the new TFNN.com now and experience all the upgrades. TFNN.com, educating investors. Call, call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Welcome back, uh, folks. Uh, let's go out to Newton, Mass. and speak with Tom. Tom, thanks for calling. Thanks for holding. How are you today? I'm good, Steve. How are you? I'm doing very well. Thanks so much for asking. And uh, you want to take a look at Great Panther. Uh, tell I us do. what you're doing and how I can help you. Well, I've been just watching this for the last few years, and it seems to me that uh, did it do a ABC down the other day? What time frame are you looking at? Daily? Uh, this was on the daily. Okay. Um, so uh, there's several potentially to be equal CD patterns out here, but specifically to answer your question and what I would draw in here, did it complete an A to B equal CD pattern? Uh, this is what I be. This is what I would be looking at. So to the extent that you're watching us on Tiger TV, for my A point, I would be using the high from July 19th. For my B point, I would be using the low from August 2nd. And for my C point, I would be using the high from August the 9th. And the one-to-one -one price projection level on that would be 67 cents. So that's what I would be using for the actual A to B equals CD down pattern. Now, price got down to a low on September 13th of uh, 68 cents. So, you know, pretty close. And so then to finish and complete the answer, did it complete an A to B equal CD? In order for that to happen, Tom, for me, the way the market communicates to me that the pattern is complete is that it would have to generate a bullish reversal candle, either on that date or a following date. And what we can take a look at when we look at Stevie's other charts out here is no bullish reversal candle has occurred. So the way I would answer your question is it's in the process of making an A to B equal CD to the downside. We don't know whether 67 cents will stop that move out there. That's just the one-to-one -one price projection. A 1 to 1.272 would take it down to 61 cents. A 1 to 1.618 would take it down to 54 cents. Now, the reason that we take a look at that, Tom, is that until a bullish reversal candle forms out here, 
price is likely going to continue to move lower out there. And so you're looking for the first sign that buyers are saying, okay, I'm ready to take a position and defend this price area. And that typically is done with a uh, bullish reversal candle out here. Uh, what we can also see is that price is still below Stevie's red line. That's 74 cents out there. So that is held as resistance. Uh, because the line is red, it tells you and I that the price oscillator is below zero. It's very bearish when price is falling, when you have price falling below uh, uh, a, uh, the zero line of the price oscillator, and that's what it's doing out there. So that's not good. It did form a, a TD setup nine count bottom on that same day. That was count number eight or bar, bar number eight. And so there could be a bottom that's out here. So we have both the one to one A to B equals CD. We have a TD setup nine count pattern. But now what you would be waiting for is that is that sign that the cavalry is here and that at a minimum will require a bullish reversal candle. So that's what I see from the A to B equals CD standpoint in taking a look at Great Panther mining. But I have a question for you. You've been sure. watching it for months. You haven't. But does that mean that you have not you don't have a position in it or you, or or let me ask the question. Do you have a position in Great Panther? No, I do not. Are you looking for a position in Great Panther? I am. And what is it that's going to trigger you into that position? What is it that you need to see? And I'm not trying to convince you to take the trade or anything, but, but what is it that you need to see um, in order to take that position? And is this a long-term position, a trade, well, a short-term? You know, give me some type of feel there, too. This would be kind of a short-term. Short-term. What I'm looking for is I'm looking for a bottom, and then I'm looking for a sign of strength. Okay. And I haven't seen I haven't seen much of anything. Uh, you definitely haven't seen a sign of strength. If anything, you've seen signs of potential weakness with the two high volume bars in September 13th and the 16th as price was pushing lower and it was pushing lower into a previous swing point with more volume. That previous swing point being the May 31st time frame out there. But if you're looking for a short term trade, then you stick with the uh, daily time frame out there. And I think you're on to to something. It's just what you need is that bullish reversal candle. Um, do you need a yeah. sign of strength? Um, if you're going to do it that way, then as soon as you see the bottom signal, then you'll see likely a sign of strength, and then you'll have to buy that retracement out there. But on the A to B equals CD pattern, you don't necessarily have to do that. You just need the completion of the A to B equals CD at one of these areas. It doesn't have to be exact. We use it really more, Tom, as a guideline, but you really need that bullish reversal candle. And that could okay. be your trigger from a trade standpoint. Excellent. Thank you, Steve. You bet. You bet. Thanks so much for calling. So two potential bottom patterns for Tom there in Great Panther, the TD setup nine count pattern, as well as the A to B equals CD to the downside. So let's go to our next question. The next question coming in from James. James wants to take a look at uh, Disney. So uh, just like we did with here with Great Panther, although we didn't go into it, we start with the uh, charts out here to take a look at where is price trading in relationship to its TAS market profile. So when we take a look at at the daily time frame, James, here's what we know. Today, price is uh, moving through the bottom of a daily profile out there. That was support. So we know on a daily basis, support has failed. Now, I don't know what the end of the day, but if there's a close below 136.23, support will have failed on the daily. So what does the weekly tell us? The weekly says, well, its next level of support, which should be a strong level of support, is 131.85. We say strong level because it's a bullish structured weekly profile. And so you're looking for, what's your analysis? I'm not in, but I'd like to drop, I would like it to drop more. Might look at it uh, from a swing trade. So the next area, James, that you're looking for is 131.85. The monthly chart shows that price is above a new monthly profile that formed this month, the month of September. That's usually bullish, usually, because I haven't found a single pattern that is 100% guaranteed. But, but the patterns that you and I take a look at, the support and resistance levels that we look at out here, trading without them, it's a, totally a guessing game. Here, you and I aren't guessing. We know where support and resistance is at. That's helpful. And then we also, by taking a look at our other tools out there, we know how bottoms 
form or can form out there with a A to B equals CD. As Tom was looking at as a as a wave number seven, letter number G, uh, price moving lower, doing less relative energy, roads momentum indicator bottom, and then of course our TD setup nine counts. Let's kind of uh, you're looking for lower price, so you're thinking. I think James, uh, even though I may be putting a word into your to your question here, I think you're looking more long term. So if I look at long term, because if we look at the monthly chart here for Disney, everything looks hunky dory. I don't even know what hunky dory means. I just know we've used it. And if we take a look at what the monthly chart is telling us, it says mm, Disney could have some problems out here. Why can we say that? Well, here it's got the Rose Momentum Indicator top which confirmed in August. It confirmed in August when it generated that bearish engulfing candle. So this is like for Tom, who was calling about Great Panther and was looking at an A to B equals CD. Now, this is not the A to B equals CD pattern. We probably can draw one in here, but this is the way that the market communicates to you and I what its intentions are. Right now, the intentions are on a monthly basis for price to tag 131.34. And below that, then that takes you down to 122 to 114 to 110. Now let's finish taking a look at Disney when we get back from this breakout here. But the monthly, James, says not so fast. Let's go see what the weekly and the daily say when we get back from this break. I'm certain you are or strive to be one of the best of the best at everything you do in life. It's the most common trait that we tigers and tigresses share. If you're looking to become the best of the best when it comes to managing your money, let me teach you to do what most wealth managers tell you can't be done, which is how to time the markets. I'm Steve Rhodes, author of Mastering Probability, and for the last 12 months, Timer Digest has been tracking my newsletter signals, which have earned me the ranking as their number one market timer in the nation for the S&P 500 for the last 12 12, six, and three months. Timer Digest also ranks me as the number one market timer for gold as well. The fact is, markets can be timed, and I'll teach you the exact set of tools that I use that has transformed me into one of the best at what I do. Sign up for Mastering Probability today by clicking on the newsletter tab on the homepage of tfnn.com and get immediate access to workshops where I take you step-by-step -step how to use an extraordinary set of tools as well as provide great market calls too. Sign up today. The Path of Least Resistance is David White's daily trading newsletter, and if you're looking for active trading ideas, then now's a perfect time for a 30-day free trial to this powerful daily trading advisory service. David uses his years of trading experience to offer his subscribers his trading ideas each morning in his Path of Least Resistance newsletter. Using a combination of equity trades along with options, David keeps his subscribers up to date with all pertinent market information with intraday afternoon updates when warranted. Don't miss out on this great chance to get a 30-day free trial to David's daily newsletter, The Path of Least Resistance, with no obligation to pay anything. David has been delivering solid recommendations for his subscribers recently, and if you'd like to see the type of newsletter he delivers every morning, then visit the front page of TFNN, and you'll find The Path of Least Resistance under Trading Newsletters. For all the details, and to start your 30-day free trial today, log on to TFNN.com now. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com.
Welcome back, uh, folks. So we're taking a look at Disney for James. He's looking for, you know, a swing position. But we looked at the monthly chart. He wants to buy this thing lower. The monthly chart says uh, Disney's given us a caution signal long term out here. If we look at the weekly time frame, it too was generated in roads momentum indicator topping pattern out here. It confirmed with this bearish engulfing candle. Uh, looks like back in the uh, July uh, time frame out there. I don't have my, my crosshair, so I'm not going to worry about the exact month. But we do have a confirmation of that pattern. That is out here. Of course, remember any topping signal says I'm just going to push price down to support. And that's what's taken place so far. Price got down, tested the bottom of that bullish structured box. Looks like price is headed there once again, 131.85. A close below that for two weeks in a row would then go ahead and set up an A to B equal CD to the downside. The A to B equal CD to the downside pattern on the monthly time frame, really pretty much any time frame that we look at out here, should be about the same, which would be 123.95. That could be the Gartley buy. It could be 119.56. The same game plan would be in place out here. You'd want to see a bullish reversal candle on the A to B equals CD pattern. The time frame is agnostic to us with regard to that. Now let's go take a look at the daily time frame, see what it is that we see out here. Certainly a wide ranging bar, volume picking up, moving to the downside out here, uh, trading below support. Uh, that was the daily profile. And the profiles up on this chart out here. Um, uh, but but again, we don't see any signs of some type of bottom. So that's really what we're looking at uh, from uh, this standpoint. You know, if we take a look at wave counts, we're well away from wave number seven. That'd be letter G out there. So I think that uh, continue watching the Disney chart out there, James. It's not today that uh, you or I are seeing any sign of a bottom. And I think you're going to get your wish. It's going to continue to move lower out there. So hope that helps you out. Uh, no other questions. Just wanted to let all, everybody know phone lines are totally open, 877-927-6648. Of course, inside the Tiger's Den, I'll be happy to take any kind of a ping out there. So we're seeing the, the, the equity market sell off a bit. Of course, that was a signal, right, coming from the short-term time frame charts out there. Short-term, we just looked at the ES mini, the 30-minute. But if we looked at the 60-minute time frame as well, again, generating the same type of signal for you and I. What's that signal? TD setup, nine count. Works beautiful. It's easy. One of the easiest technical patterns to be able to uh, place on your charts and your systems and to learn. Uh, but now, right now on the 60 minute, uh, we're seeing the key level of support being tested. Key level being really two things the bottom of its profile, 3000, about 3009, and also Stevie's green line, 3009. So this is really a key area on the 60 minute time frame. And if we're see, if we were to see a close below that level, 3000. 2009, uh, coming into 2 o'clock, that would suggest that uh, price could go ahead and pull back to 29.8875. Now, pulling back to where price just broke out does not mean that the character of the market has changed from bullish or bearish. For that, we were using yesterday, we were using, and we would still use it today, we would use the daily time frame to be able to make that type of a call out there. We don't have that yet. But as I did say, the markets are kind of in this precarious situation. Uh, precarious situation, not taking out the prior highs out there. That's always a bit of a caution sign. One of the other caution signs out here, uh, and we'll, we'll, we'll hit on it real quickly, then we'll go to our a caller out there, but you may remember back here on September the 5th, uh, whichever show I was doing, once we saw price get below the 50 day moving average, I'm looking at the left hand panel of my bottom left hand panel of my chart, and you're looking at the spot volatility index. And what we said out there was as soon as we saw it close below that, that what the intention of the spot volatility index was to get down to the bottom of that 50 to 1 Bollinger Band reading. Now, at that time, it was like $13.08 or $0.09. Cents. Uh, it has obviously adjusted since then and got up to 13 30 and our actual low today is 1331 now just so it's it's fully exhausted that move so anybody that was taking that trade on um, being short the volatility index this is where you would jettison that position I'm not saying to switch it I'm just saying you will have gotten the hamburger out of that trade whatever that means hey let's go to Denver and speak with uh, Ron Ron thanks for calling thanks for holding how are you great Steve and I remember when you said that on VIX very nice call uh, and, uh, it was the call I, of the charts. I called I yesterday just... in the last couple of days. On, I'm the one with in Adobe. Yeah. And uh, I got out of half of my position yesterday. I had eight of them, and I sold okay. four. Okay. And uh, I own the 277.5, 280 bull spread that expires tomorrow. 
and I'm just see, trying to see if Adobe will hold 280 and bounce. What are your, you, <laughs> what's the possibility or what's that look like? Ah, uh, well, you're pressing it, aren't you? Two, <laughs> I love it. Uh, uh, I still have. <laughs> I know, I know, I know. So it, 279. 65, I think, is is my red line number, um, and you're just above that right now. I, I wish you didn't have so much as a time element, you know, behind you. Obviously, you do. Look, we got to just stick with with what it is you've got. Um, there, there's well, there's the, no, the there's is no that, you know to buying back that 280 is so expensive, yeah. and it'll that that'll all go away tomorrow. And uh, um, one of the things that I could do. Is instead of buying back the 280, I could be I could buy the 282 and and be short the 280. But that would be, you know, yeah, I don't know. So I don't want to do that yet. The the concern. Anyway, yeah, no, I, I, I just I trying. You, I just want to just come out of it. But yeah, no, I know if that. If it can hold 280, I'm in fat city. But I don't know if it'll hold it here. Yeah. I don't either. Uh, here's what we know. Here's what here's what you and I know. We know it's trying to form a bottom, but it's it's really failed to do so. It's failed to do so from the standpoint of getting the type of momentum that it needs. Uh, but when I say momentum that it needs, clearly clear Stevie's red line. That would be one level. Hey, it's trading just slightly above that uh, today. We know price continues to push lower with less relative energy. The hammer candle bottom held out there. You know, so longer term, not having to make a decision for tomorrow. I you know I'd be safe to held the stock I'd say you know go ahead and stay right now I would then say but 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 you have to do it cautiously and you'd have to have a stop and the reason we would say that is because you know again today price right now at 1 in the afternoon is back below the bottom of that daily profile and so it just appears that old support has really become resistance and then when I look at the weekly chart all that it's really done this week is test and reject the bottom of that uh, profile level and so when I pull over the weekly time frame chart for for Adobe, it says more likely than not that price may be targeting 253.89 out there. And it wouldn't be yep. till next week where I could make the case that maybe this week was the low, but we're not at next week. I just got to make the call based upon the chart information that we've got. And then you and I, we talked about this yesterday. The larger term time frame being the monthly time frame last month generated a bearish reversal candle. And, and these were the reasons um, that you know, I saw the bottoming pattern inside of Adobe on a daily basis. When I looked at the weekly and the monthly time frame, it just said, you know, you got to be kind of cautious here because the larger time frames are signaling to us, you know, lower price. Is it going to hold 280? It's 280, 60 right now. I, I don't know. If it were, if if we're trading above support. That being the bottom of the profile, I think the call would be easier, and that level is 281.46. If you get a close below 281.46 today, odds favor the answer is no. It's not going to hold 280. Okay. But we're just talking about, you know, maybe 50 or 60 cents here. So that's it. right now, it's not behaving the way that you'd like to see it. And I don't know if it's going to continue to push lower. Hey, we're about to go to a hard okay. break. You can hold on. Appreciate your time. Thank you, sir. You, you Appreciate it very much. Bye -bye. We'll, be, we'll be right back. Thanks. If you're in a CD market and looking for a secure investment, the Tiger First Mortgage Program may work for you. The security for these first mortgages are building lots in the Tax Opportunity Zone in St. Petersburg, Florida. The Tax Act of 2018 set up tax-free zones across the country where you can build and hold for 10 years and pay no tax on the profits, which makes these lots valuable. The investment is anywhere from $30,000 to $75,000. The interest paid is 7% yearly paid on a monthly basis. According to Bankrate.com, the best rate for a four-year CD in the country as of February 20th is 3.1%. A $50,000 investment at a normal four-year CD rate of 3.1% would give you income of $1,550 per year or $6,200 over the four-year period. That same $50,000 investment in the Tiger First Mortgage Program would give you $3,500 per year or $14,000 over the four years. Which would you prefer, $6,200 or $14,000 of interest on your investment? If you would like more information about the Tiger First Mortgage Program, you can call me at 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190. 
If you haven't checked out the newsletters page of TFNN.com, what are you waiting for? All of the TFNN newsletters are informative, up-to-date, affordable, and a must-have for every trader looking to gain a competitive informational edge in today's markets. TFNN newsletters cover every aspect of the markets to offer you the very latest in market news. Plus, new subscribers get to test drive our newsletters risk-free for 30 days. From all aspects of the markets, including stocks, bonds, metals, commodities, and tech, there's a newsletter to fit your needs exclusively from TFNN. Stay informed each day you trade and get the competitive edge that will help you stay ahead of the game. Visit our newsletters page by going to TFNN.com and click the newsletters button near the top of the page. TFNN.com, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV for the latest market information. So I don't know if I'm connected or not properly. Perfect. So hey, we can uh, we can get rolling if you'd like. Post something in the den. Let me know. Sounds on. Sounds on. You guys are good. Okay. Hey, sorry about that, folks. Uh, I had a. Uh, a a system uh, explosion, so to speak. It's the first time I've seen the message from Microsoft that uh, said there's an error on your computer and we're going to shut you down. So uh, Stevie's got a little work to do here after the show. So what it means, though, is my other charts. I'm only I'm, we're only flying with about with one engine. The other engine is shut down for sure, and that's my other sets of charts that really help you and I navigate what the markets are communicating uh, to you and I. Um, you know, it's it's nice, to, and the, the time frames are really important here. You know, look, if there's ever a market turn, it's going to turn in the shorter term time frames. First, we're looking at the 30 minute time frame. We're looking at the daily time frame. You know, kind of think of it as our triptych GPS system. You know, let's just say you you know you're going to drive from you know Detroit to Florida, and that's the big scheme out there, and it gives you approximately the hours. But along the way, you know, on long down I-75, you've got different detour areas, perhaps or road 
road construction. And that's what our short-term time frame charts really do. They help us to identify where there's congestion. I use the term congestion as a metaphor for where is it that the market is likely to turn or slow down and so forth. And that's where we use those patterns, the TD set up nine count. I mean, they just repeat so often uh, that when they do appear, it, uh, it helps us to understand what the markets are communicating to you and I, specifically for that time frame out there. And that's why it's always really important then to understand the key levels of support. You know, do they get tested and hold? Do they fail? If they fail, then you're headed down to the uh, next level. And it's usually an incremental time period up on the chart. 30 minute, go to 60, 60, 120, 120, 240 or the five hour and five hour daily, you know, something along those lines out there. Now, of course, in those cases, those time frames, what I'm doing is, um, is uh, uh, is taking a look at futures contracts, things that are trading electronically. You know, most of the uh, most of the day out there. If we try to do that same thing with an equity chart, like Apple or something like that, you, you know, you've got six and a half hours. And, and the bars themselves are important to take a look at. So, you know, using a 30-minute bar, okay, that's that's fine because you've got, what, 12? You've got 13 bars at least that make up a full day. But switch it to an hour, you've got six bars that are six each one hour long and then one that's 30 minutes long out there. I, I never really saw the point from a pattern recognition standpoint uh, out there, if you kind of know what I mean. Okay, in any event, brrr, enough of that. But so we were, I believe, discussing the spot volatility index and, and what we were looking for and what it's done. And, uh, and this is really helpful for those folks that try to trade those extremely um, volatile, we're talking about the volatility index, uh, ETFs, the doubles, the triples, or what have you. But the, the, the cool thing is, my experience is, in taking a look at it, is that is the center line of that 50, to, so when I say 50 to 1 Bollinger Band, the, the normal setting that John has that he uses is the 20 and 2, 2 of this being the standard deviation. So specifically for the spot volatility index, we change that to a 50 and a 1 level. That's the red and the blue line out there. Now, in this case here, that blue line is set to the 50-day exponential moving average. So it's not, I'm not even really using the Bollinger Band center line. I'm using actually the 50-day exponential moving average just to make sure that, that I'm clear on that. And what you'll notice is that when price gets above or below the 50-day, you'll typically see it, if it gets above Above, it'll move up to the top of the Bollinger Band. Uh, typically, markets top um, when the spot volatility index is at or below the uh, lower Bollinger Band reading out there. If you, you know, you, you can take a look at my cursor if you're watching us on Tiger TV. You know, and, and, and tops oftentimes take a longer period of time to form than the bottoms are usually. You know, boom, you push too far. It's kind of like the. It's kind of like the uh, uh, going into you know your pool if you've got a pool and taking one of those blown up balls and trying to hold it down with your feet. Eventually your feet are going to give way and that ball is just going to, you know, blow out of the pool, so to speak, out here. But the, the target level, as you can see, in essence, was hit uh, earlier today. Um, does that mean that the market is top here? No, that's that's not what it means out there. But for those that were in the trade, trying to trade the volatility, which I know there's many of you that are that are on that are listening to the show, uh, just from the emails and the calls that we get, now is the time where you're like, now is the time to be out of that trade altogether um, until we get some other type of clear signal out here. Um, so, uh, so for those of you that like that trade, that trading vehicle, and, and look, I can't fault somebody that at this stage with price getting down to the bottom that maybe wants to take some type of lottery ticket or stab in one of those, uh, one of those ETFs, UVXY, SV, whatever they, whatever they are out there. Oh, okay, then now, as price got down to the bottom of that Bollinger Band, I can get that trade. But this does not mean that the volatility index is done headed lower. It's just achieved the outcome 
um, that it should have achieved once price uh, closed below that level on September the 5th. Today is September the 18th. It got down very close to that area on September the 13th out there as well. But today was really kind of the winner, winner, chicken dinner kind of a uh, feel for the spot volatility uh, index out there. Okay, so we got that uh, done. If we take a look at the New York Stock Exchange, let's look at that. What are its messages right now? Uh, its message is actually one of caution. Um, you might say caution. Why? Now, not caution from the standpoint of take a short trade. Caution from the standpoint to be watching this following pattern that is in play as we speak right now. Let me get my green line out here. So what we can see here is price in the NYSE on a closing basis is making a higher high. And what we also have going on right now is in its advanced decline line, potentially lower highs that would be forming. Now, the key to a short trade in the general market, so to speak, and this could be setting the hook, would be to see the advanced decline oscillator reading close below the zero line. It's not there just yet. This is not a short trade, but this is something to be paying attention to, much like what we did yesterday. We knew where support and resistance was. Hey, we'll be right back in just a few. Since 1984, Basil Chapman has been using the Chapman Wave methodology to advise traders of his expert market opinion. While originally hand-drawing charts from the late 1970s into the 1980s, Basil noticed that prices under most circumstances virtually always had a certain number of legs to the upside before declining sharply. Later, Basil found that computer software, which included the standard market technical indicators, enhanced the degree of accuracy in calling price turns, as well as market trend calls. Thus was born the Chapman Wave sequence. Using the Chapman Wave methodology along with other indicators, Basil Chapman advises his subscribers of his expert market opinion each market day with his opening call newsletter. Right now, you can get a two-week free trial to the opening call, Basil's daily trading newsletter, by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Cancel at any time during that trial and pay absolutely nothing. Get your two-week free trial to Basil's newsletter, The Opening Call, today by visiting TFNN.com. If you're a trader in the market looking for exposure to gold or gold mining equities, then now is a perfect time to sign up for Tom O'Brien's Gold Report. The summer is over, gold is trading back above $1,500, and the 10-year treasury is hovering at around 1.5%. Tom O'Brien has been writing his weekly gold report for almost 18 years. There's no one that knows more about how the gold market trades and how gold mining equities react. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to lose. Every Monday morning, Tom publishes his weekly gold report with coverage of gold, silver, bonds, the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, as well as more than 30 different mining equities. As of September 3rd, Gold Report subscribers have five active open positions with an average unrealized profit of almost 38% for each position. To see for yourself the types of profitable trades that are recommended within the Gold Report, sign up today by visiting TFNN.com. You know what's cool? Taking something that's good for you. Something specifically formulated to help with weight loss, better sleep, stress reduction, and the need to detox. Nico, our hunter and gatherer ancestors found all their nutritional requirements for health in their wild environment. But today, our food sources no longer contain the vitamins, minerals, and nutrients our bodies need to stay healthy and strong. That's why we need Primal Edge Daily Nutrition. It includes a special blend of ionic, soil-based vitamins, minerals, fatty, and amino acids in an easy-to-use liquid form. Primal Edge is powerful by highly concentrated fulvic and humic acids, nature's preferred delivery system. They've been called miracle molecules because like sunlight, air, and water, life cannot exist without them. That's right, Paige. They ensure we receive all the nutrition we need to be healthy and thrive. We, we take, take it, it every, every morning. morning. Primal Edge, formulated and approved by Nico and Paige of Living a Primal Lifestyle. Buy it today for just $89. Click on the Primal Edge banner on the front page of TFNN.com. This is David White. Stay tuned because coming up next is the Power Trading Hour right here on TFNN. Welcome back, uh, folks. So the icing on the cake is what we're going to do here in this last segment. We're going to finish it out with John in Philly. John, thanks for calling. Thanks for holding. How are you this afternoon? Good afternoon, Steve. One closing question for you, sir. 
uh, with that uh, spike low in COMEX gold futures yesterday while uh, Powell was giving his press conference at 1491, what price does COMEX gold need to rise above as you see it to confirm that as a good bottom? Hmm. Uh, it's got to take out. It's got to take out the highs again. <laughs> uh, that's 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 a, that's a big spread. I know that's not the answer you're looking for. So, um, the the trade to put on here, if you're trying to, is if you're trying to take the long position, was that yesterday's spike low as it got down to 1489.20. That was the bottom of the uh, monthly profile. So that was kind of like a last bastion of support. Price got down to 1490.70. So that certainly was close enough. Um, and I think you're just looking for price to stay above the bottom of that box. If we see price go below that, we're looking at an A to B equals CD to the downside. Um, and that likely would be more than a one to one A to B equal CD to the downside. We don't have that right now. I would say the other the answer that I would give you is a close above 1520 would be a good uh, start to communicating that that spike low was a bottom. The 1520 level is the center of its weekly profile. So on a weekly basis, both buyers and sellers are comfortable with that price. A close above that should then take price to 1536. But here, John, I'll kind of finish it this way. Gold should be able to make 1536 $1,536.60. Support is held, whether it's the daily bottom of the box or the weekly bottom of the box. And the daily's bottom of its box is bullish in structure. Buyers should be able to push price up to 1536.60. If it can't, maybe that's telling you and I something. Thanks a bunch, Steve. You bet. Folks, thanks so much for being here. Stay tuned. David White's up next, your favorite polar bear. After that, Tom O'Brien. I'll be back with you tomorrow on Fantastic Friday. Sorry about that little hiccup out there. Now let me go try to fix this computer system. Have a terrific Thursday, folks.